What is up guys? Now I want to start doing these breakdown videos more. So here is the first official episode of my new breakdown series. I want to break down my games, LCS games and also your games as well. So stay tuned to the end to find out how you can get your game featured. So let's be honest, team fighting as an AD carry is not the easiest thing to do. You have to do a lot of damage while staying safe and it's that balance that will win you games. It's basically like this scale on screen, at one end you're doing damage and at the other you're staying safe and you need to find that perfect balance. Now if you try to do too much damage then you'll most likely just die and if you try to stay too safe your team is going to die in the meantime. I always summarise it like your job is to do the most amount of damage possible to the highest priority target in range while staying safe and it's really that that you should think about before going into a team fight. So then, to put that into three quick and easy points, number one, work out what's going to kill you first, number two, don't let the things that you've worked out in number one actually happen and kill you, and number three, always attack the closest target, unless they're no threat at all like a support, in which case you just go to the next closest target. So let's jump into our first breakdown then, and this is a pretty early dragon fight which I'm arriving late to. Now Thresh is going to get hook onto the Janna to start with, I'm going to go for her, I'm going to turn onto the Twitch and then flash out straight away, it kind of looks wasted but I'll explain it later, turn around with the culling onto Twitch and then we're going to get the Aurelia mop that kill up and that kind of ends the dragon fight. Now jumping back to the start, this is where I have to decide who my focus is going to be with three of the red team and two of us. Janet is hooked here and is the easiest target for me to attack and I can't go for Twitch up here even though I want to because it puts me in the middle of everyone. The other thing I'm watching for is Zerath's stun from the side up here so you'll see as I roll this that I actually make sure I'm on the left side of Thresh so he'll have to block it. Now as I played this before, you'll notice I flashed just after this and it kind of seems wasted, right? Well, this right here, this Irelia is why I did it. Irelia's stun lasts for so long and if I get stunned right here in the middle of all three carries, I'm gonna die. That's why I flash now to make sure she can't stun me and even if she flashes after me, I'll be away from Zerath and Twitch. Now as it turns out, Thresh drops the box right here slowing Aurelia and meaning that she can't chase me so I get to turn around and culling Twitch, picking up that kill and mopping up Aurelia after. Now let's move to the next fight and it's not so much a team fight really but just a play that I want to break down because there isn't much I can do here but I should have really anticipated it. So Zerath's going to ult behind me, then Twitch and Jarvan both ult me. I get hit by one of the Zerath ults before I just have to run away. And unfortunately, I have to leave and the team actually loses the fight. Now taking a look at this, the reason I almost die is unfortunate really, because both threats are out of vision. I can't see this Twitch here and I can't see Zerath. So this is where anticipation really comes into play. I said before, at this point there isn't really much I can do. When Zerath ults I have to move forward because he smartly placed it just behind me and that's when Twitch unloads on me. At this point that it's frozen, I can't really do anything to change what happens, but really I should have been standing over here on the left near Thresh. Now standing here means it's harder for Twitch to get into me anyway and if he does he'd be in range of an instant Thresh hook which would have let us turn it. This is all good in hindsight, but really I should have been thinking ahead and anticipation is really a big part of team fighting as an AD and hopefully this kind of shows you why. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of this new breakdown series and I said at the start I'd like to do this for your games too, so if you want to have your game featured, here's how. Just email me the replay, either from LOL Replay or Baron Replay to the email address on screen. Try and include a rough time of when it happens and also what elo it's from and I'll do my best to include it. That's all for now though, so I'll catch you next time.